Hi, welcome back to the Circuit Playground Express online workshop. In this section, I'm going to talk to you about using the lights on the Circuit Playground Express. Every Circuit Playground Express has 10 NeoPixel LEDs baked right in, and these are RGB LEDs, so they're capable of making red, green, or blue, or combining any of those colors to make any color that you want. So I'm going to show you how to make this sketch among, amongst others just to get you going making simple light animations or making the lights light up however you might want uh, on your Circuit Playground Express. So if we take a look in make code at what I have going here, it brings us to our first light option, which is the show ring block. So we can use the show ring block just to select any color we want on the color wheel and change those lights to be that color just by clicking them. Or if we select gray, then they'll turn off. So this is a quick visual way to, to make our lights show, light up in any sort of pattern that we want. And I've thrown a pause in here, so there's a slight delay when each light turns on. If you stack up just a bunch of show rings together, the program will run through them so fast that it'll just look like everything's flickering and you won't be able to distinguish the different colors from each other. So the next light option we have, if we go into the light menu, is show animation. Now there's six different animations that we can choose from. And I'll just send the rainbow animation to the board. And these are nice because making a rainbow animation like this would take a lot of time to work out. So it allows you to have some pretty rewarding animations without needing to grind through them and create them manually. So you could play around with a different animation options there. They're pretty fun to throw into your code. We then have set all pixels to a given color and our graph function. So I'll show you the graph. Graph is handy because it turns the wheel of lights on the Circuit Playground Ex Express into a bar graph. So if I want to take our sound level live input and put it in graph, and we'll say we'll graph the sound level up to 100, then it's going to take readings uh, off. It's going to take the readings off the sound level off the microphone in real time, and then turn them into a graph on the board. So as things get louder, like as you can see, when my voice is loud, the the bar climbs up the Circuit Playground Express, and when it's quiet, it stays down near the bottom. And that's a really fun feature, and you can do that with just about any live data. It's good for accelerometers, sound level, or light level. So the next one I want to talk to you about is set brightness. And set brightness is best used in an on start because you don't really need to set the brightness all the time. So we would say set brightness and then that returns a value from 0 to 255. Um, it doesn't scale linear linearly. So you'll find that like as you climb higher, it gets a little brighter. Half of 255 is not half brightness as we see it with our eye. I usually keep it around 20 just so I can look at it. If you turn it up to 255, it's quite blinding. And if you were going to have a battery powered project, the NeoPixels will burn up your battery life faster than anything else. So it's good to dim them down a bit. So we have the option to create colors manually using uh, red, green, blue values. And the next section here is our photon command. So this is kind of a customizable animation. You can change the color the speed of how it moves. So we'll we'll pick the photon, we'll say photon forward by one, and put a pause in there. So we can see it on the virtual board, but if we look at the real board, we have the photon spins in circles around the board. We can pause it with these commands in the light menu. We can have it move faster or slower, and we can change its color. So say we want to change the photon pen hue to be um, purple. So then, then the pen will be purple and it looks like it's turning green, but you can set it to any color you like. So the next one is set a specific pixel to a, a set color. The pixel color bubble um, actually reads the color at a given pixel that you select. And you can use that to you can use that elsewhere in your code. Maybe if you want to copy the color of a certain pixel, 
The bubble that has the animation symbol in it is used to send animations to strips. And um, if you want to just show one frame of an, an animation or maybe make it advanced, advance it one frame at a time, then you can use this show frame of animation. And then the most two down at the most used two that I think down at the bottom are the stop all animations and clear. If you ever want to turn on a light and then have it turn off afterwards, you need to command it off. So it's not going to just turn on and know to turn off when your code continues. So a common trap to fall into is have is to have a light turn on to indicate something and then forget to turn it off again. So it'll just end up staying on forever once it's been turned off once. So we avoid that easily by just adding in a clear when we want our lights to turn back off. So that wraps up all the light, the basic light options in make code. Stick around in the next section, we'll go over some inputs and how to use certain sensors on the board.